Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel for a video lecture series in control systems. In this video lecture we shall consider a numerical, construct the state model using phase variables if the system is described by the differential equation. So a differential equation is given, for this I need to construct uh, the state model. So let me consider the solution for this. Yes, what shall we do first? I need to select the state variables. So first thing is select select the state variables so I need to select the state variables so which are those state variables they can be selected as the first state variable is capital X1 so what is that equal to that is equal to in this case it is the output y of t so x1 is equal to y of t is the first state variable next I need to select x1 dot which is d by dt of x1 which is represented x1 dot can be represented as x2 so what is that I said it is d by dt of y of t d by dt of y of t is this fine if x1 is equal to y of t then x1 dot is equal to d by dt of y of t similarly moving further the next state variable I can select it as x2 dot which can be represented as x3 which is equal to d square divided by dt square of y of t is this okay so this is x2 dot similarly moving further I need to select the next variable let me select that as x3 dot x3 dot is equal to d cube divided by dt cube into y of t I don't call this as x4 because I need to select the minimum state variables hence the last state variable would be x3 dot is equal to d cube by dt cube of y of t so now I use this in the given equation so let me write that using these let me write using these where should I use in the given equation using these in the given equation what is that given equation which is the given differential equation so first I have uh, d cube uh, by dt cube of y of t so what is that that is nothing but x3 dot therefore x3 dot plus 4 times d square by dt square of y of t which is known as x3 so I can write 4 times x3 is that okay plus similarly 7 times d by dt of y of t which is nothing but 7 times x2 plus last one 2 times y of t so it is 2 times I can, written, I can write this as x1 is equal to 5 times u of t so now I have, re I have replaced the given differential equation using the state variables once this is done I will write the expression for x3 dot so what I write is therefore I will just rearrange this expression therefore x3 dot is equal to so I will just take all these terms to RHS so starting with minus 2 times x1 minus 7 times x2 then I have minus 4 times x3 plus 5 times u of t so this is one of the equations x3 cap plus x3 dot and similarly uh, y of t which is written as x1 correct and uh, moving further I also have the equations x1 dot so what is x1 dot x1 dot is nothing but x2 and similarly what is x2 dot x2 dot is nothing but x3 yes from these state variables now I can construct the state variable model so therefore I would write now therefore state model the state model using phase variables the state model using phase 
variables is phase variables is so what is that so it is given as i must know this expression x dot is equal to capital a into capital x plus capital b into u and the output y is equal to c into x wherein a b c are all the matrices so now just let me put this in a box so this i must know it once i know this so now i need to expand that so x dot is again a matrix so which has three variables here which are known as x1 dot x2 dot and then i have x3 dot so this is nothing but a matrix so let me just put this in the matrix form yes so this is the matrix the input matrix so this equal to so what is that equal to now so this equal to a into so a is again a matrix which is going to be of 3 cross 3 matrix so let me write the space over here yes this is going to be a 3 cross 3 matrix that gets multiplied with x what is x x is again 3 cross 1 matrix which has x1 x2 values and x3 so let me write that over here yes yes this i said uh, the matrix a and here i have got the matrix x what are the values of x x takes the values of x1 x2 x3 let me write those things x1 x2 x3 so now i need to fill up what this a is so for that i need to look for the expressions so what is that x1 dot is equal to x2 so looking at here x1 dot is equal to x2 is that fine so that means this element the first element must be 0 here it must be 1 and here it must be 0 so the first row and first column if i multiply i get 0 into x1 plus 1 into x2 plus 0 into x3 that means i'm going to get x1 dot is equal to x2 so as per this next i have x2 dot is equal to x3 so again i need to fill a uh, fill the first element as 0 second element as 0 and the third element is 1 so i hope this makes sense if i multiply the second row with this column 0 into x1 is 0 0 into x2 is 0 plus 1 into x3 is nothing but x3 that means i i would get x2 dot is equal to x3 in that uh, x2 in that way and lastly what is x3 dot equal to x3 dot uh, that can be realized using this expression so here i have minus 2 times x1 so this must be minus 2 and then minus 7 times x2 this must be minus 7 and then minus 4 times x3 so this must be minus 4 is that fine so this plus there is something called phi times uh, u of t so that also again i have to consider uh, consider uh, the matrix over here yes so now i would consider this again as a 3 cross 1 matrix and this gets multiplied with the term u so i get 5 times u of t what is that x3 dot is equal to 5 times u of t that means there is no term with x1 there is no term with x2 hence i would uh, write them as 0 and here i would write uh, 5 so it's not 1 it should be 5 is that okay so hence if i multiply i'm going to get 5 times u is that fine so this is with respect to x dot is equal to x plus bu similarly moving further i need to consider the expression y is equal to c into x so for that y is equal to c into x so what is c so here i'm going to get a matrix this is 1 cross 3 matrix and that gets multiplied with x so what are the values of x x takes at x uh, takes three values that is x1 x2 and x3 correct so just let me indicate those uh, using the matrix so this i would call it as i would write over here x1 x2 and x3 so what must be here so that i would get it from the expression of uh, y is equal to y of t is equal to x1 so where is that here yes 
using this y of t is equal to x1 at the place of x1 i should have 1 and at x2 it must be 0 here also it must be 0 if i multiply these two things i'm going to get y of t is equal to x1 so hence this is known as a state model using the phase variables so ultimately i should get what is a what is b what is c so if i can sum up with that it is the end of the solution therefore i would write a is equal to so what is that a equal to so i would consider uh, this so just let me copy this yes so this is going to be a then uh, similarly what must be b so what must be b b is equal to uh, 0 0 5 so this is the matrix so let me again copy this so this is going to be b is that fine yes just let me consider this writing over here this is the value for b and lastly what is c and let me write c is equal to 1 0 0 so again i am going to consider sorry i am going to consider uh, this 1 0 0 let me copy this and this is going to be C so these are the things yes this is the numerical on uh, state variable model use constructed using phase variables for the given differential equation I have explained this numerical step by step I hope you people have understood if there are still any doubts please let me know them onto the comment section and I'm happy to answer those uh, doubts thank you so much for watching